So these old Dodges pretty much from, I don't know, 80s, so first gen, you know, all the way up until the 90s, they used this stupid voltage regulator right here to control the voltage. And, you know, back in the day, it wasn't that big of a, a thing, you know, it was just sort of what, what you got. And they worked great, you know, back when Chrysler was making them and they were worth a shit. Now, everything's made in China and it's just junk. So the problem that you run into is these regulators, you know, they last about a year or so. And then you fire it up after sitting in the winter and it shoots up to 16 volts and then overheats your coil and then, you know, you're you're kind of stuck. So basically how this works is see that connector over there has two wires coming in and out of it. And those two wires come over here and connect to, to this. Now this green, I guess it was green at one time, that basically just shoots right over there to that one and they're connected. Then we have this red wire here that's also connected there. And that's pretty much all that controls the, the regulator. Now how this works is that red wire actually runs into the harness and is supplied power. This sort of works like how the old stuff back in the 50s and 60s worked where it used uh, points. Uh, essentially what this is doing is one of these is battery power, and which is the red one, I believe. And the green one is basically shorting the charge field to ground to bring the voltage down. And that's that's pretty much how it works so we come in here and we can look at our diagram see here's our regulator down here with our two wires now the biggest issue that people don't understand is that the regulator needs a good clean ground because it actually grounds the alternator charge field so here's our uh, i guess it was dark blue at one point but here's our two wires anyway and then they come up here. They're supposed to be connector at some point in the history of this vehicle. And then see, we have our two that uh, run in here. And then this runs off to our, our power. So um, that's pretty much it. <coughs> so here's the old factory. These are square backs, they call them. You know, your standard run of the mill Chrysler alternator. And then here we got a, a power master, which is, you know, the new in goodness, new hotness. These are all self internally regulated. So, you know, they call these one wires. You know, it's not a GM alternator. It's a one wire Chrysler alternator. The one wire GM is a little bit different, but same. Essentially, it's the same principle in, in functionality. So the regulator itself is built in here inside this voodoo magic somewhere inside here. So essentially, we have the same components rectifier bridge for our three phase AC. And then that spits out DC here. And then we have the same thing here. Uh, brushes, top and bottom. And the uh, regulator assembly is hidden, you know, somewhere in there. So these always come with a, a little a little dealy that, you know, shows the, uh, the set point and the actual physical um, testing for this alternator. It's like a benchmark. It's a dyno sheet. So, you know, I'm going to go throw this in there. There's not really much else to talk about on these, but... And if you're having voltage problems and you know it's just just buy one of these <coughs> and throw it in you can call power master and tell them exactly what you're looking for and they'll give you a part number they don't sell them directly you got to get them from i usually get them from summit just because it's you know easier and they have the best warranty on their stuff but they also have an online catalog that you can look through but you know that that's that's your deal you got to figure that out on your own but i just kind of wanted to talk about this this is you know this is great it gets rid of all this old crap brings it into some new hotness.